Good evening all, welcome to a voiceover commentary from the previous Club 100 sprint round at Clear Pigeon. We're going to get straight into things going into heat 2 and straight away you can see I got such a poor start off the line. I give Anwar a little bit of a push and the gap just opened up allowing Adrian to fill it and then immediately I just run out of talent. Couldn't get the cart stopped in time and I ended up pushing Adrian wide so I'm sorry about that mate but uh, yeah I hold my hands up and I do apologise for that but moving on we'll just continue um, coming up into the hairpin I'm trying to just take it as as shallow and break as early as possible really to try and get the run because everyone seemed to be taking a deep line through there and breaking a little bit too early so we're just trying to sit on the back of this guy in the red suit I'm not sure what his name is and hopefully we can try and pick his way through this field as it spreads out a little bit to stay out of bother on the first couple of laps so we're coming down the back straight now really quick down here um, and after the poor braking attempt on the first lap I didn't feel like I had the confidence in the cart to go for the move down the inside so I'm just biding my time I'm just sticking behind these guys and hopefully they're going to battle like that and like I say he uh, braked a little bit too late went deep and just left it way open on the inside for me which means I can slip in behind this guy in the black helmet just behind Aid. so we're coming round to the final corner before the back straight and I'm just looking to get my foot down early so I can get the power all the way down the straight. Um, just tuck in the slipstream of this driver in front. Just try and keep everything neat and tidy. I'm keep this one pretty pretty tight on the inside. Otherwise, if you go too wide, and, and the other drivers are just going to dive down the inside here. They keep the track shorter. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to move out to the side to this one and try and put a little bit of pressure on him a little bit. Hopefully, I can get cut back, but... As I came back, I noticed I'd lost three positions. Um, but then by the next hairpin, I'd gained two of them back and I'm back behind the guy in the red suit again. So it didn't turn out too bad. Just coming onto the back straight again now. The lead pack seems to be pulling a bit of a gap, so I'm keen to get past this guy as quick as I can. Just coming down into the turn one, but he goes defensive. So I look for the cutback, but... Do I get it down the inside? Yes, I think I just about get there. And fair play to the guy who gave me space. He, um, because you're not supposed to go through that chicane to um, side by side. It's single file only. So, well done to you. I'm just gonna try and get my head down now and get some, get some decent quick laps in. I, I felt like I had some pretty good pace on the day yesterday. Um, once I was in clean air and I could put some decent laps in, I was, oh well, in every session I was in, I was setting the top top three lap times. Um, one of the sessions I think I in heat heat ten, I got the uh, fastest lap, but you'll see that later on. So we're just hanging on now to the back of this park, and we're just gonna get his head down and get onto the back of Adrian, keeping it nice and tight around the hairpin. Prioritising exit. He knows I'm he knows I'm there. He turned round, he's seen me. I'm just gonna keep it nice and steady. I'm just trying to stay in his toe. I'm gonna watch out for the lads behind me making moves. Well it looks like Adrian got a better exit onto the main straight. Seems to pull a little bit of a gap now. He's catching the uh, the front pack. I'm just holding on to the back of it. Waiting for some, uh, if the other drivers come together and have a little bit of a battle, I could capitalise on it. It's always hard coming from the back as a C3, but like I say, I've just slowed things down there. Just as I went for the move down the inside, I tapped Adrian's back end, which forced him wide. So I just I just slowed down a little bit, waved my hand, let him back through. I wasn't happy with the move, but I am... Um, so I let him back through because I wasn't happy with it. But I, I lost the position to this guy in red again, and he's tapping back of his helmet to say, "Come on, let's work together. Let's let's catch him. Let's get let's get caught up." So I'm I'm happy to do that as long as he doesn't make a mistake. So I'll just try and get in slipstream. But straight away it looks like he's got a bit of pace in that cart. Goes down inside of Adrian. Coming down into turn one. I'm just I'm just sticking with him. Trying not to make any mistakes. Trying to avoid penalties. Trying to avoid cones and barriers and tyre walls. 
just go to the outside but Adrian very cleverly defends the inside and a slight little nudge there you might have seen it and um, there's a guy just on my tail behind who's also looking to get past me so I'm looking to get forward as quick as I can because I don't like being under pressure from people behind I like to be in clean air pulling laps so it looks like I get much better exit onto the straight this time than I did last lap but I still can't close the gap enough to be able to make a move so I'm just going to stay on the bumper of aid and through the right left chicane hoping I can get enough over speed to be able to make a move down into the hairpin but a little tap on the back end and Adrian defending the inside means I can't get I can't do it he's just blocked it off like a brick wall very good driver is Adrian very good defender as well I'm just concentrating on trying to stay with him Hoping he makes a mistake. And that was that's the one I'm looking for. He had a bad a bad entrance and a bad exit on the final corner, which allowed me to move up the inside and keep my speed. I'm just gonna concentrate now on uh, get my head down, put some solid laps in, try and catch this guy in front, try and pull a gap behind me. This was a very hard double left hander this one to get right i almost i couldn't decide whether you had to slightly kick the back end out to get it turned in or just keep grip on all four wheels and just go a little bit slower it, i couldn't decide which was faster on the day we're coming down the main straight now there's a guy on the right hand side i don't i don't know what happened to him so we're just going to reel this guy in and hopefully by the end of the heat we might be able to catch him. Just gonna keep it nice and consistent. Try and hit all the apexes. Try not to scrub off too much speed with, with the steering. Little bit of a lift, little bit of a break going into the final corner, then flat out. We can use all that run off there to be able to keep you keep your speed and maintain it all the way down main straight. Well that's the end of that's the end of heat two. So we're gonna go straight in to heat six. And this time I'm starting um, behind Jason Kirkham. But this heat was an absolute we like to say that it's a death heat, shall we say. There were so many C ones in this heat. There were, there were the Holmes boys we, we had we had um, Ann Warber, Earl Smith, there were, there were Steve Lindley, Mikey Nichols. All the big names for the heavyweight Club 100 seemed to be in this one heat. So when those heat grids, them heat lists came through by email and I saw this one, I felt a bit uh, hard done by. There you go, the home's try, trying to make a move down inside, but I just get the switch back. Uh, I think I stayed in front of Joe for maybe two corners before he came through, but uh, there you go, there he is. I'm going to try and hook onto the back of him now. I've got with all these fast boys in front of me. I'm using this as a learning experience. I'm going to try and I'm trying to see what they do, try and copy what they do, to see why why these are the top boys of Club 100. There's a lovely move down the inside there from Joe. And I'm just I just let off and let this lad through because I don't want to be going too wide through that chicane. It'll only ruin my race. I've had a decent start. My target in this race is Jason. He's the um, he's another C3 driver, so I'm competing against Jason for the C3 championship. He's doing really well at the minute. I think he's sat second overall, um, whereas I'm sat fourth now after this this round. I had a couple of terrible crashes that you'll see soon. But, uh, I'm just trying to. I've got a really good view of these the fast lads, and I'm just I'm just staying with them, learning what they do. And there goes. Jammer down my inside, beautiful move. I'll just let Steve Steve through on the chicane again. I don't like I say I don't want to be going two by two down there. It could ruin your race so easy. A lovely move down there by Steve, which lets me capitalise and I can overtake. I'm just gonna try and stick with him. It looked like it was going to rain for most of the day. 
but we seemed to get really lucky and we just we, did, we had dry dry races all day but the final especially the, the clouds were dark it looked really grey and there goes Steve again such a great driver that's a move I wouldn't even dreamed about trying but they opened the gap and I filled it and I think with me doing that and going down the inside and following following Steve it Adrian actually came actually came off the track and ended up on the grass out of the cart so I'm not sure how much of a part I had to play in that maybe I should have uh, conceded and let him come back in a little bit but there were no penalties so I'll put it down to a racing incident it's a learning curve so I seem to have lost touch with the front pack now all the the C1 drivers the fast lads have all all found pace they're all just pulling away I'm just trying my best just to stick and there comes James Radovich again lovely move down the inside I'm just going to stay with him we want to be catching Jason Kirkham I think he's too, he's two in front so I'm quite happy to sit behind James and try and work together to close that gap up to Jason um, and then hopefully there'll be a little bit of a battle and I can I can capitalise on other, fault, other people's misfortunes it seems to be closing the gap pretty quick now such a fast chicane I'm just hanging back a little bit now. I can see that James is on uh, Jason's tail. And within probably another lap, they're going to be having a battle. So if I can just stay close enough that when they start to battle, if anything if anything falls off the table, I can pick it up, so to speak. There's still three minutes of the race left. Just keep everything nice and tidy. Sweep out this chicane. You you had to try and line it up perfectly to keep it flat without running over this sausage curb on exit because that, there was a penalty penalty system in place where if you ran over that sausage curb on exit um, you actually got deducted positions but you're getting tasty in front of me now because James and Jason are having a little bit of a battle so I'm going to move over and fill the left space hoping that they run wide and they do which lets me take both positions momentarily I can still see Jason on my outside so I'm leaving him space I'm going to stick to the right hand side of the track, leave space on the left. It seems Jay is. Where's James? Yeah, James is right on his tail, but I seem to just get to that apex quicker than he does, which means now I'm right on the tail of Jason. He's my target for C3. So I, just, I know I've only got a couple of minutes left. I'll just get a better, better exit on here. I see the gap open up on the inside, so I just send it down the inside take that position from Jason which I was pretty happy with Jason was so quick all day and that was how that heat finished so we're on to heat 10 um, and this was actually arguably one of my should have been one of my easiest heats considering the names of the people in it so we come down to turn one instantly there's so much carnage into the first chicane here you can see this cars spinning all over the place and i'm just trying to thread my way through like a needle and i think from that carnage i went from i think from a starting 16th <clears throat> up to ninth place just from everyone else spinning and just pure carnage to be fair but he's actually in this heat you'll, you'll see soon um, I was making a move for 5th place I was in 6th and I was making a move for 5th and I went the wrong side I went. I was a little bit impatient I went the wrong side and ended up on the grass through the barriers um, and finishing last overall so in this heat I actually got the fastest lap but finished last due to being off track so I was quite devastated 
and pretty depressed after this heat actually especially after my last round at Rye House where I'd had an absolute shocker at Rye House so I came here with the mindset that I was trying to claw some points back because I went in at Rye House I think I started the championship I was first going into Rye House and then after Rye House had finished I, I was third in the championship and then after this at Clay Pigeon um, two big crashes, once in this heat and then once in the C final has actually put me down to fourth in the championship so it was, should we just say it was a long depressing drive home back to Leeds for four and a half hours but I'm just going to speed up now after we made that overtake um, just so we get back on the, the tail end of this guy still nothing to see up until we got here So we have, you can see how quick the car is that we've got, so I'm closing in on every lap. I'll look up the inside, but decide, decide against it. Try and get some more over speed going through the chicane. So I try to get the run down the bottom, and I get this one done. Break later on the inside, snatch that position away, and now my eyes are fixed on the guy in front. The, the guy in front is in... He's in fifth place. That's Lenny, I do believe. We'll see when we get a little bit closer. We'll give it another lap. I'm, I think I closed the gap pretty quickly now. I've got some clean air. Keeping it nice and smooth. Lining up the chicane to keep it flat. Close to the tyres on both sides. Just two wheels on the sausage curbs, okay. Break nice and early, keep it tight, prioritise the exit speed, back over to the right hand side, quick tw twinge to the left, power through and up, close to the cones on the right, over to the left hand side, braking now, turning in and then flat out again, use the run off on the exit to keep your speed and carry that all the way down the main straight. And by, by the time I get to the end of the main straight, I can see there's only there's only four or five cart lengths between us now. So if I can get a decent bit of overspeed going down here, close that gap a little bit more. Break early, turn in, prioritise exit, and I should be able to close the gap on exit. Just like that. Now I want to try and prioritise my exit onto the final corner to try and get the move done on the main straight. We'll break, turn, and then power. But Lenny also got a... I got slightly over speed, but I had nowhere to go, so I just bump drafted him down straight a little bit. He, he, he looks to go defensive. He stays on the inside. I get forced out wide. So I hold it back, just single file through the chicane, prioritise exit speed on the chicane, and I try to make a run down to the... He goes defensive, I move to the left, and then Lenny moves over to the left too, and I had nowhere to go on the grass, through the barriers from 17th to to fighting for 5th to then being last place so I yeah, was pretty devastated with that one <coughs> so with them results in place obviously that's pretty bad because I've ended up in the C final so I've started 7th in the C final so my only aim here was to get a top 4 so that I could be promoted to the B final and actually try and claw some points back that way um, so we, st we start off quick I, I, I stick to the inside the inside line is always best but the people on the outside always seem to get screwed but I don't know what happened there just had a bit of a drill and I tried down I don't yeah I, I might have accidentally tapped Lenny there um, going into the air pin just under braking which sent him spinning so I, I apologise for that Lenny Um which is one of those things coming down to the mission. I mean, I'm actually in fourth place now, so I would be happy to stay in this position till the end of the final. But I've got Adrian Ray behind me, and he, he drew such a fast cart for this heat, and he was right on my tail. And he was consistently faster on lap time in this heat. So my I wanted I wanted to get past at least one more to be safe to get through. 
Uh, and luckily enough, the guys in front are battling and slowing each other down. You've got Tom Angia there, Mr. Grubby Mango himself, uh, with the yellow helmet on. Uh, so if we can, we can stick with him, because he's a fast lad. We can stick with him, we'll be happy. Getting a good exit onto the main straight. The guy gets a poor exit, but I have nowhere to go. I ended up giving a little bit of a boost and slowing myself down, which lets Adrian catch up even more. Uh, and then he goes he goes defensive and he keeps it tight, so there's not really any room for me to send it down inside. So I'm trying to prioritise the exit on Chicane, but I didn't do very well. I'm just going to keep it nice and tidy and up. These lads start battling again. Maybe pick off one or two more positions by the end of the race. Uh, I send it on the inside for third. Managed to take that position. Not the tidiest overtake I've ever done, I will admit, but it got the job done. So it's now head down, concentrate, catch these two lads up now and just put some solid laps in, try and pull a gap behind me. First and second are in front of me, so you never know, uh, they might end up in a little bit of a battle and I could take the lead. But I could see this guy in second place, um, didn't have as much pace as what I did, so I think I was getting a little bit impatient. Um, I was, there's yellow flags out, so we're all slowing down for yellows, and then now we're racing again. So I try and prioritise the exit again, braking, turning, flat out. But we both got decent exits this time, so I could just stay on his bumper, bit, bit of a bump draft, try and close that gap to Tom. Oh, he goes defensive, leaves me no room again. Back up to the U bend. So I can see I've got the, uh, my cart seems to be a bit faster than this lad, so I try to go up the inside, but he covers it off, which slows me down. But at this point, I've still got Adrian on my tail, so I, my my exit onto the main straight was compromised then, and Adrian managed to get right behind me. So I need to come up with a solution to get past this guy uh, at a different corner. But... I've seen that he's slow going through the final the final corner before the main straight, so I want I wanted to try and capitalise on that corner because I know that he's slow there. And I've seen it on last three laps, so I'm giving myself a little bit of space because I don't want to get a faster exit and then run into the back of him again. So I move over to the left, brake earlier, turn in earlier, and then power down just to try and get that overspeed. Oh, he covers me off again. So we go around for another lap. Meanwhile, Tom in front's pulling away a little bit. I'm just going to use some brakes just to close that gap on exit again. Faster on exit just to close that gap. Try and keep tight to the guy in front. And see if there's another opportunity on this right hander. So he messes up his entrance there. I have overspeed. So I try to cut back on the left. But he just runs me out wide off track and into the barrier. And it's a concrete barrier. And that resulted in me being in the ambulance for the next 30 minutes. And my entire race weekend pretty much ruined with next to zero points. But all in all... It's just one of them things. Um, it happens in racing. It's I'm, I'm aching today because this this race was yesterday, so I'm in quite a bit of a pain, quite a bit of pain. But I'll get over it. I made a tough stuff, so I'm just looking forward to the next round at Lid on the sixth of August. So hopefully see some of you guys there. Thanks for watching.